Hi Aries, welcome to your Animal Spirit Love Reading. Um, we're just going to get started with a true love reading card just to see what areas uh, you may need to focus on developing your love. And then we'll take an Animal Spirit um, card for each you and the person that you're in a relationship with. Um, and then we'll take a couple cards to get clarity on what's going on between you. And then we'll close out with a spirit guides message. So let's get started. Spirit, what does Aries need to focus on for love right now? Give me one card for, oh gosh, we just got 12 cards that came out, but let's get up. <laughs> All right. One card, please. One area to focus love. And we get life purpose. So let's see what the book has to say. And then how this will play out for you. And life purpose. It says, your own natural intuition and the genuine wisdom of your heart is here to guide you. At the deepest level of our existence, loving and being loved is a major part of our life purpose. We feel it within us all the time as our souls call for deeper connection and meaningful expression of the most powerful force in the universe, love. During those times in your life when you are not in a relationship or are experiencing relationship problems, it can be empowering to remember your greater life purpose as a being of love. In order to attract the kind of love you want or rekindle love in your current relationship, it is necessary to be love whenever you can. This is the higher life purpose for all of us. You have drawn this card today because the universe would like you to experience yourself as love so that you can fill your higher life purpose firsthand. Trust that love is not an external thing that you must find and keep. It is unlimited and always within you. All right, beautiful. So let's get a spirit animal card for Aries energy right now in regard to love and life purpose. Can I get one card spirit for Aries energy in regard to love? And we get the butterfly. Beautiful. Now, you may, this may be you, or this may be the person you're dealing with. You could be dealing with an air sign. I mean, really, butterfly always symbolizes transformation, um, metamorphosis, and, you know, really becoming what you were meant to be, your life's purpose, right? Let's see what the energy is for who you're dealing with in regards to love. And we get beaver. You could be dealing with a water sign, maybe even an earth sign. Now the beaver is happy and purposeful so I think it goes to this life purpose um, but I feel like you know this like the beaver it's just a, a more intuitive thing of knowing what their life purpose is and they're like hard workers and if they feel at any time like you know, they don't have work to focus on, especially like someone that has beaver energy that is going, you know, trying to deal with things in this quarantine and, and so forth. They, they can feel very, like feel useless if they can't work, right? If they can't do something to, um, that's their normal routine if they feel out of sorts in that sense. And then, you know, 
the butterfly, it's like, let's see, I don't know. I, how would that energy play out between these two? Now keep in mind, I'm no uh, zoologist, so some of the things that I may say, it's in the cards that I get. Spirit knows that I, you know, don't know everything about the animal kingdom. So if I describe certain things, it's just, it doesn't necessarily mean it's scientifically true. Um, but I just thought this would be fun. So what is the dynamic or what is going on between the butterfly and the beaver in regard to love? And we get the Daughter of Wands. So this is like the Page of Wands. Very passionate. Um, this could be very sensual. Um, I do see the butterfly as, you know, bringing out the best in people. Um, let's see what else we get. So we get the Ten of Swords. So I feel like, I feel like this butterfly energy and, you know, these roles could be reversed. This could be Aries and this could be your partner. I think that in regard to love, this may be per a person from your past that... You may be in separation, you may have felt betrayed, you may have felt like stabbed in the back or um, I think that it just this it's like the butterfly can have a very fragile nature. So when things are out of whack, it can really affect them emotionally. And I feel like the same is true, but in a different way for the beaver. So I feel like there may have been some swords thrown. There could have been, you know, a terrible argument or something. And I feel like this could have kind of pushed this metamorph metamorphosis to happen within this butterfly. So the, if this is you... Aries, I feel like you are getting your passion back. You are feeling like a new beginning coming on, or at least the idea that you are, you have come a long way from this energy. And it may not be with this person. It may be that you're just, you know, starting to allow yourself to feel love inside um, and take those guards down to open yourself to a new relationship. If it is in a relationship that you're still currently in, I feel like there's going to be some renewed passion. There may be, you know, a, a talk that happens that really um, brings about truths that may hurt, but they will result in, in igniting that passion, that new growth within your relationship. So let's close out with a spirit guide's message for Aries. And we get self-sabotage. When you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It's that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. So I feel like there may have been a lot of hurt. This could be you all in your head. Um, you know, but at the same time, I feel like bringing about love into everything and maybe, you know, a change in perspective to understand why a person may have acted in a certain way. It doesn't mean that you have to still include them in your life. Um, but I feel like you'll come to some inner peace and be able to move forward for this new, you know, passionate and beautiful life purpose that you have before you. 
That is all I have for you, Aries. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and let me know in the comments how this plays out for you. Remember that the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.